Hello and welcome back to Professional Tutors, the British Online School. We are a unique team of qualified and dedicated teachers here to help our students to reach their full potential. In today's lesson, we're going to look at uh, what is the relationship between current and the charge. Uh, we're going to look at what is current, we're going to look at what is a charge, and we also look at what is the relationship between current and charge. And I'm going to do some calculations based upon that. And that would be around two marks um, question in, in, in the exam. And later on, we're going to look at series and parallel circuits as well. And then we're going to look at some um, circuit symbols in this lesson. What's a current is a rate, rate of flow of electrical charge. And that charge could either be electrons or the ions. So if it's a metal, um, then it's, uh, it's the flow of electrons. And if that's an ionic compound, uh, that's a flow of ions. So current is the rate of flow of electrical charge could be electrons, could be ions. Very important one more question in exam. It is measured in amperes, symbol is A. The potential difference, now sometimes students, they do get confused. What is potential difference? The potential difference is the same as the voltage. The potential difference is the same as the voltage. So it's normally the energy carried per unit charge. So how much energy an electron has or how much energy an ion has, that is what the potential difference is or the voltage is. So potential difference between any two points in a circuit is the energy transferred so it's the energy transferred that's a key word energy transferred from a given amount of charge as it passes between those points and potential difference which is the same as voltage two different names of the same thing so don't get confused if they mention an exam potential difference that means they're asking about the voltage and whether it's voltage or potential difference, same units, we measure potential difference or the voltage in volts. And the symbol is V. Just have a look at these circuit symbols. Um, so we're gonna look at, we're gonna name the circuit symbol as well as we tell what is the function of each um, circuit, like each symbol. So let's have a look. This one is a symbol for cell. And cell is necessary to push electrons around the circuit. Now battery is more than two cell, two or more cells combined together makes a battery. This one is the symbol for a switch. This is an open switch. The switch enables the current in a circuit to be switched on or switched off. That one is a symbol for bulb or filament lamp. And we know the function is going to be, it, it just emits light. This one there, very important. A diode and a diode allows the current to pass through only in one direction. Now this one there, that is only for the students who are doing higher. Yeah. That is your light emitting diode, the LED, the symbol for LED. The only difference between these two is it's got simple, these little two arrows there, that will make it an LED. That's a symbol for an ammeter used to measure current. And we know we use amps to measure currents. This is a resistor, a fixed resistor. And that will limit 
the amount of current passing through a device or in the circuit. This is a symbol for a variable resistor and you can use this resistor to increase or decrease the amount of current in any circuit. That is a fuse, very important, and they do ask that a lot in exam. The only difference between the fuse and the resistor, this line goes through the box if it is a fuse, and if it's a resistor, it doesn't go through a simple empty box. Heater, you don't need to worry about that. They're not going to ask you that in the exam. Voltmeter, a volt, volt, very important again. So that's simple for volts, a voltmeter. So a voltmeter is used to measure the potential difference measured in volts. So potential difference of voltage is the same thing. So don't get confused. Okay. Yeah, just have a look at the relationship between uh, the charge and current. The symbol for charge is Q and we measure charge in coulombs. So charge symbol is Q, we measure charge in coulombs. I is a symbol for current. So I is a symbol for current measured in amps and T is the time. So when sometimes want to work out how much charge has flewed or flowed past a point in a circuit, that is what, that's the formula we normally use. So charge, the symbol is Q, uh, measured coulombs, C, current symbol is I, measured in amperes or amps is A, and time taken is measured in seconds. So you can write this formula down in your book and we're gonna look at some of the calculations. Now, electric current, of one amp is the rate of flow of charge of one coulomb per second when there is a constant current in a wire in a circuit at a given time. So don't worry much about this definition as long as you know the relationship, as long as you know the formula, you'll be fine. And this formula is also given to you on the formula sheet as well. So all you need to know is just plug the values in the calculator and get the answer. So if you look at this exam question here, a charge of 16 coulombs passes through a bulb in five seconds. Calculate the current through the bulb. So rearrange the equation to, to make I as a subject or current as a subject. So current, which is I, e, is going to be Q over T. Charge they've given us in the, in the question 16 coulombs and time they've given us is in seconds. Plug these values in the calculator and you'll get the answer. In this case, it's 3.2 amps. Thanks for watching. If you find the information useful, please subscribe, share, and like the video.